Hey, how's it going, people? Thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Amsterdam Breweries Bone Shaker Unfiltered India Pale Ale. Uh, really, really cool looking picture on the front. We've got a picture of a skeleton riding a bicycle. Awesome. Um, it's 7.1% ABV. That's 350 milliliters uh, per bottle. Comes in a six pack. Um, it says Bone Sh Shaker India Pale Ale is brewed using copious quantities of hops that are continuously added during a 90 minute boil. Citrus and pine aromas lead way too massive hop flavors that are balanced out with a blend of seven different malts. The beer is naturally carbonated and left unfiltered for a unique taste experience. Um, I'm really, really, really looking forward to this because I love uh, IPAs and uh, Amsterdam is one of those uh, good breweries that are uh, that are actually here in Toronto, Ontario. So check it out. I'm going to be drinking out of my uh, tulip glass. IPAs are my favorite to be drank out of tulip glasses or fruit glasses. Now, one thing that I'm going to try to do for you here is see whether they're going to try to do a you know East Coast or a West Coast IPA style. It smells uh, very fragrant, very citrusy. Um, very great food, which is very much like uh, any type of India pale out there. Wow, well, you know what? Um, out of all the beers that I've had out of IPAs, I feel like this one I get the most grapefruit flavor out of it. Very tasty. Now, I'm going to say that um, it tastes very much like a, a East Coast India Pale Ale. So, I mean, um, the West Coast India Pale Ale tends to be, tends to have a lot more of that uh, bitter, hoppy aftertaste. Um, this does have a bitter, hoppy aftertaste, but it's not the same. It's not nearly as intense or as extreme. And you know what? It's really, really strange. Um, it, the, the pininess of this beer, I, uh, it, it shares a, a common taste um, with a lot of other beers that I had, that I've had, and piney, I don't know, I don't know if I can say it's as piney as it is, kind of uh, nutty tasting, it's a, kind of like a nutty tasting IPA, which is really cool. Take a black oak um, brewery beer. Uh, the, the nuttiness of that and the woodiness of that, and throw it into here, and you got basically your IPA style version of that. Very, very cool. Anyways, uh, I'm probably going to give this one a uh, eight and a half out of ten. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, thanks for joining me. Another one of Chris's beer reviews. Don't you can drive. Drink responsibly. And if you want to see the price, so check out the description down below. Cheers.